Welcome to this tutorial on creating discussion forums in D2L Brightspace. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go under our communication button and we'll click on the third link titled discussions. Once inside of the discussion area, if we press the blue new button, we'll select the first option to create a new forum. And so under the new forum details, we can put in a title for a new discussion forum. So I'm going to create a discussion forum with the title Introduce Yourself to the Class and I want the students to be able to go into this area and uh, basically do an introduction to and meet other uh, classmates. So just below that there's an option to create a new topic in this forum with the same title. Now if I click on this box what it'll do is it'll create that topic for me right after I press the save button at the bottom of the screen. Now the mistake that many people make is that they create their forum and they don't put any topics within it and they expect their students to be able to just go on and begin posting. So the way I like to explain it is that a forum is basically like a folder that's going to house all of your discussion topics. Okay, so it's almost like a folder in your content page. So the topic is like the file that would go within that folder. That, so the topic is basically the, the space where the students are going to go on and have that discussion. So if you don't create a topic with your forum, then it's like having a folder on your content page without any files. All right, so the option is, is you can either click on this box to create a new topic in the forum with the same title, which would be introduce yourself to the class, which I am going to check off. However, if you don't check this off, a little later on, uh, after you create your forum, you'll have to go and create your topics afterwards. You can also put a description of your discussion uh, forum within this description box here. And then under the options area, it gives you three options. You can allow anonymous posts. So if I check off this box, any post that a student makes within this forum uh, will show as anonymous to everybody. That includes the instructor. So it's anonymous to absolutely everybody. The second option here, a moderator must approve individual posts before they can display in the forum. If I clicked off that box, any any post that a student would make within this forum, the uh, the instructor in the course would have to approve it before the other students would see it. And then the third option here is, is one of my favorite features in the discussion area, is that users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads in each topic. Now in this case, when students are just introducing themselves to the class, this really isn't that important to check off. However, if you are grading your students on their discussion postings, this is really valuable because it means that the students have to go and post basically their own views and own opinions on the discussion topic before they can be swayed or influenced by what the other students are talking about. And then under the availability area you can uh, click on the show forum visibility here and you'll get a few options. Uh, forum is always visible meaning that the students always see it. You can hide the forum so that the students do not see it or you can make it visible for specific date range. So if you for example had this uh, discussion forum you know, open for, for example, for a, a week that you're covering chapter one, you can go and you can put a start date and an end date uh, in this area. But in this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it open. And then just under the, uh, the availability or the visibility area, there's some locking options. So by default, the forum is going to be unlocked, uh, meaning that the students can go on and post in the, uh, in the topics within the forum. Uh, there's a lock form right here, so if I clicked off that, the students wouldn't be able to post or reply to any of the topics within this forum. And then the third option is unlock the forum for a specific date range. So it's the same thing with ab above if I wanted my students, for example, to uh, go on and talk about or have a discussion around material cover during a certain week or chapter within my course, I can have uh, the discussion forum unlocked for a specific period of time. So the, the, the main difference is that uh, visible is when they can see what's being talked about and the locking options is when they are allowed to post and reply. So you could lock it but still have it visible for the students, meaning that they can still see it 
and and view it for you know study purposes or just just to go on and view and have it locked so that they're not able to post or reply to other uh, postings within the discussion area. And so there's a few options here at the bottom. We can save and close. We can save and add topic. We can just save or we can cancel. So if I press just the, the, the save button here, um, what I'll do is I'll just click on this restrictions tab just for a second, just to show you that you can also uh, create and attach release conditions for this discussion forum. And basically uh, some release conditions m might be like you have to be in a, you know, you have to complete something else within the course in order to see this, whether it's, you know, uh, going on and, and posting in another discussion forum, or you have to submit to a Dropbox, or you have to get a certain grade on a grade, ass you know, assignment or something. So that would be an example of maybe some release conditions that you can add if you wanted to. And you can also uh, restrict it to the following groups and sections. So if I only wanted particular groups to have access to this discussion forum, I could click on that box and then press this button to add the groups and sections. And then I just press the save and close button. And you can see here that in this black text right here, this is going to be my discussion forum. And then below it is the topic where the students can go on and have their conversation. So this concludes the tutorial on creating a discussion forum in D2L Brightspace.